Well, as wildlife on the planet struggle in the throes of extin extinction, it is ironic that it might be humans who might be their final chance at existence. The Buffalo Zoo is playing a big part in protecting one of our most iconic creatures. Terry Belke explains this morning as he takes us to the outdoors. The role of zoos has taken on critical importance in both preservation and conservation of threatened species across the planet. The Buffalo Zoo has been very active in working with rhinos. Their 23-year-old female, Tashi, recently gave birth to a male calf named Mohan. The zoo did try to breed Tashi with their 10-year-old male, George, but it didn't take, so they had to resort to artificial insemination. It's a complex process, guided by the Species Survival Program, which was developed in 1981 by the American Association of Zoos and Aquariums to help ensure the survival of selected species in captivity most of which are threatened or endangered in the wild. We look at the genetics of each individual animal and then match them best who matches best with who uh, to know where to send them with, who to breed them with, uh, how many offspring can they have, are they overrepresented, are they underrepresented? So there's a lot of factors into the genetic portion and where the animals go. Tashi has given birth four times, two naturally and two artificially. Young Mohan's birth went off smoothly as anxious zookeepers watched from a distance. We stay out of the barn when she is giving birth. We want to make sure she's paying attention to giving birth and not trying to disturb that. Uh, so we watch her on the camera and your heart's pounding the whole time. And, you know, uh, fortunately with Mohan, he hit the ground and he was kicking right away. In a few years, Mohan will hopefully father more rhinos. And though unsuccessful in breeding with Tashi this time, the big male George is just entering his prime breeding years. His genes will also contribute to the overall success of his species. But George is actually uh, the third most genetically valuable male in North America, so he's very valuable. The zoo's efforts to help these ancient mammals doesn't stop with breeding. Over the summer, they raised $14,000 to donate to the Sumatran Rhino Rescue, an Indonesian organization dedicated to saving the Sumatran Rhino, the most critically endangered large mammal on Earth. There are less than 80 left in the wild. The uh, government of Indonesia, along with the uh, International Rhino Foundation and other NGOs, they recently developed the Sumatran Rhino Rescue. Uh, which is a plan to be able to capture the remaining Sumatran rhinos that are out in the wild, uh, bring them into human care, put them in managed breeding situations, increase their numbers, and then re-release them back out into the wild. It will take the entire global community to ensure the future of the rhino, and the zoo is rightfully proud of its contribution to the cause. I hope that we can pass that along to our zoo guests and the zoo community and the Western New York community and all across the United States of uh, we can do this, um, you know, and you can take a lot of pride in knowing you played a part in saving a species. Taking you to the outdoors, I'm Terry Belke.